Hey guys and welcome back to my channel. This is going to be a one brand full face makeup video featuring the newest makeup line in the market which is the Alice Academy of Real Wonder Herb. I will mention all the names and shades of the product I'm going to use and I will put it on the description box along with the prices of these products. So if you're new to my channel, don't forget to subscribe and now let's go ahead and start with the makeup video. So first, I am going to use a Velcro to keep my hair from going everywhere since I'm using a fan while doing this video. It's summer now in the country so it's very very humid. To start, I am going to apply a primer to put barrier on my face to all the products I'm going to wear and this has a silicone texture so it minimizes the pores and smoothens the skin. For foundation, I'm going to use the Alice Academy HD Serum Foundation, which is in a pump bottle. And I'm going to use my mushroom brush to spread it. And they only have two shades, which is the light and beige. So I got the light shade because the one, the other one is too dark for my skin. And it feels a bit heavy in the face and a little whiter than my skin and dries easily. So you have to be fast in blending. I'm going to cover my under eye circle using their color correcting concealer number 2 in medium. This is the one closer shade to my LA Girl Creamy Beige Concealer which I use most of the time for concealing. I'm going to use the loose powder in number 2 fair to set my under eyes and this loose powder has a little bit of a shimmer so once you use this it will set your concealer at the same time gives you a little glow under your eyes and I'll just let it stay there for a while to set or what we call bake. For the eyebrows, I'm using the number 3 Love in London which has the shade I think complements my new hair. So I use the darker brow powder shade filling in my brows then drag the product to the outer part and then I use the lightest color to fill in the inner brows. Then I'm gonna use the lighter shade concealer from the same palette to outline my eyebrows to make it more defined. Then brushing off the powder under my eyes and I'm using one of the brushes from my unicorn set which is so pretty and soft and I'm not going to set my face with the powder since I have a dry skin. So now for the eyes, I'm going to put now the eyeshadow. So here I use the eyeshadows and cheek blush palette in matte 03. I am going to use the lighter brown for my crease. Then I'm going to apply the light brown gold shimmer eyeshadow to my outer V. Just focusing on the outer V using their multi-effect quadra eyeshadow palette in number 24. I'm going to use this peachy color which is supposed to be a blush but it has a shimmer so I'd like to use it for my inner corners to make my eyes more attractive. I prefer matte blushers than with shimmers. Then I'm going to use another crease brush to blend out all the edges. Going back to the same palette, I use the lighter black shade to the outer corners to smoke out a little and to make it more dramatic. It's up to you if you want to intensify or you want to achieve a deep smoky eyes. And I use here the Real Techniques crease brush. Then brush again to blend out the edges. I use the same light black eyeshadow using a pencil brush on the lower lash line. I am not going to use eyeliner pen to tight line my waterline. For the inner corners, I'm going to use the white shimmer eyeshadow from the Garbo palette. Then just do the same drill on the other eye.
for the brow bone, I'm going to use the same white shimmer eyeshadows I used in the inner corners to highlight. For the eyeliner, I'm using this Alice Academy Sharp Eyeliner Pen which is really perfect for making winged eyeliner. It's very easy to outline and very easy to stroke. Then I curl my lashes. Before applying mascara, I usually count 5 seconds to curl them. This Alice Academy mascara is really pretty. It's in a silver tube and looks elegant. This mascara lengthens and curls your lashes and guys swear it really lengthens your lashes and I really love this. After applying it, I try to curl again my lashes with the curler. To contour my face, I use the darker brown shade from this Skin Illuminating Powder Duo in the shade Intensity 4. It says powder but it's actually cream. My face is chubbier now so I want to make it look slimmer. I started from the top of my ear then try to visualize a line down near to the corner of my mouth. Then contour my forehead. And I also contoured my jawline, which I forgot to include the clip. To contour my nose, I used the darkest brown from the contour palette that I used earlier, starting from my eyebrows to the tip of my nose, drawing two lines, then use the lighter shade to the bridge of my nose. For the blush, I'll use the Alice Academy Sheer Blush in a Stick in the shade N22. It has a peachy color which makes your skin more lively and fresh. It's a cream blush stick so I just use my fingers spreading the blush to my cheeks. Then of course, my favorite part of all is to highlight my face. I use the Skin Illuminating Powder Duo in the shade Intensity 2 with this bamboo brush. I use the peachy shade highlight to achieve that highlight on flake. Then to the tip of my nose and to my cupid's bow. And for my lips for this look, I am going to use the Alice Academy Matte Lipstick in the shade number 10, Studded Kiss. They have many shades in their lipsticks from the lightest color to dark shades. And guys, this is matte. Really matte. And I'm going to apply again concealer to make my lips more defined and to achieve that kissable lips. But wait! I want to recreate more of my lip color so I am going to apply a mineralized blusher in the shade 02 Foolish Me to achieve a more peachy glowy lip color. This mineralized blush is really pigmented and I prefer matte blushes so that's why I didn't use it earlier as my blusher. That's it.
it for the one brand full face makeup video. I hope you liked and enjoyed it as much as I super enjoyed playing this new products. I'd like to say thank you to Karen Jobson for letting me try this Alice Academy makeup products from Real Wonder Herb. If you wanted to try these products too, you can order through Karen and I'm going to put her links in the description box below. So thank you so much for watching and don't forget to like and subscribe and I'm going to see you in the next video. Bye! Thank you.